all American gaming fans from across the European lands and Japan. I am Jumpwing34 and welcome to today's video where we are going to show off some game collection and gaming console collection as well. If you are new to this channel, please don't be afraid to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as liking this video and clicking on the notification bell icon. It will help me to get to the journey of a thousand subscribers. So without further ramblings, let's dive right in. So first and foremost, we right here, we have this purple GameCube and this black Nintendo 64. And right next to my Samsung TV, we have a Nintendo 3DS, which I picked up at a Walmart years ago, as well as the one right next to it, the Game Boy Color. Now notice that the Game Boy Color and the Nintendo 3DS are different shades of blue, I'm assuming. And with the Game Boy Color, you gotta have a peripheral that hooks on the left side of the console handheld, whatever that may be. And it's a worm light that you have to hook to the side. And it's just like a USB, it's but it's entirely different. Right here we have on the back a game cartridge, which I'll pop it off. The first game that I'm gonna show you is this Super Mario Brothers Deluxe, which uh, is technically my very first cartridge that I ever got as a Christmas gift 23 years ago. So without, without further ado, let's head on over to the other side where I have another collection of consoles. So the next three consoles that I have listed here, I have this uh, Nintendo Entertainment System, which is not in very good shape. I would consider that as a collector console. Uh, that I'll keep because it's a very old console. I picked that up at one, I think that got that as a gift but other than that, that is a nice collector console right there. Nintendo Entertainment System from 1985. And next we, next here we have a Super Nintendo Entertainment System, which I picked up at a game shop, which I traded in the NES SNES combo console from some knockoff brand. Um, apologize if there's a lawnmower here behind me. But here I have this the controller sorry for my uh, tongue twister there and then we have a Sega Genesis which I have gotten since 2014 you might not see it very perfectly but that's the Sega Genesis console and pardon the mess because we are still in the process of getting a three-in-one console for the NES, SNES, and Sega Genesis, which is why I have those on the shelf as collector's consoles. Now over here we have the PlayStation section, which is on the right-hand side. If you look very carefully, this is a PlayStation 2 fat console. The other two that I, the one other console I had was a PS2 Slim, which I got from 2007 Christmas. And unfortunately I had to get rid of my PS2 Slim because it's getting wear and tear and I didn't need the other console for it. So a PS2 fat and on the left of it is a PS3 flat, 3S2 fat, sorry. Um, this particular console plays backwards compatible to the PS2 and PS1. In 2009, I heard something about the PS3 upgrading to a different kind of console format that they don't do backwards compatibility for some reason just plays ps3 games so this one is ps1 and ps2 backwards compatible this one is not backwards compatible at all this is a ps4 that i got since 2021 i'm guessing but yeah that's a pretty nice this is a pretty nice playstation setup i got that set up to an lg tv right here nice little 48 inch TV and without further ado let's go ahead and check out the games here's the DVD rack full of PS3 PS2 uh, GameCube and Xbox 360 games which I'll get into the Xbox 360 later uh, this is the bunch of PS3 games that I had to put on top here one including Backbreaker, Sonic, Elsa's Racing Transform, Need for Speed Pro Street 
the Wheel of Fortune game and the, another game that I got from that came with the PS3. Here we have a uh, PS2 stack. We got Lego Star Wars 1 and 2. Um, you name it, look at the console names, look at the game names and see what you think. I like this Sly Cooper and Thieves Recruiters game. That's a pretty good game. Um, another one that I like to uh, play sometimes is like, this is a good game that I've played a long time ago as a kid and that is why I wanted the PS2, which is the SpongeBob movie. Pretty good movie. Um, the other one is Need for Speed Underground. I beat this game on the Game Boy Advance. Now I wanted the PS2 version. It's a pretty good game. Um, the GameCube section, I have the Mario Golf Toadstool Tour, which I beat in 2021 on YouTube, but unfortunately I couldn't retrieve the video since I deleted it. Um, I also have Mario Kart Double Dash and Naruto Clash of Ninja 2. And for the Xbox 360 games, I have the I have three of the Lego uh, video games: the Marvel Super Heroes, Star Wars 3, and Lego Batman the game. I did try to play this game here on YouTube, but unfortunately, I just didn't have the desire to actually beat the game because of some health issues. With that being said, let's go over to the cartridge-based games like Sega Genesis N64 and that stuff. Hopping into the PS4 PS4 tote, we have a bunch of games here, mostly sports titles like NHL, FIFA, Madden, all that stuff. But this is a pretty cool game. I bought that at one of the state sales. It's Blood Bowl 2 and it's a role-playing sports game. Pretty cool. Now the other games that I do have that are not technically racing games or sports games per se, but this is actually a racing game with Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. This one here, Sonic Mania is a pretty good game here. Um, other than that, I think this is a very good PS4 collection here. I do have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, almost 20 games not bad but other than that let's go upstairs and check out the cartridge based games here's a collection of my nes snes n64 and sega genesis games all of which are console cartridge based games including sega genesis's um sega columns pretty cool game and then we got a bunch of sonic games for the sega genesis including number one this one is complete in the box, Sonic 2. Let's jump that back in there. Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Now the cool thing is I have Sonic and Knuckles, but I'll show you how this is hooked up. Um, first you put the cartridge on top of the Sonic and Knuckles, and there you have it. Three and Knuckles, in case if you're wondering if you want to play this whole adventure like this one. Also, we have Sonic 3D Blast from the Sega Genesis. And for the N64, we have only three games. Excitebike 64, Star Wars 1 Racer, and 1080 Snowboarding here. Pretty cool. The SNES, I also have three games that I have listed here. Time Tune Adventures, which is the Buster Bust Loose game, by the way. Um, Super Mario All-Stars, I have this cartridge since um, a long, long, long time ago. Played it as a kid and have great memories about this game, pretty much. And this is my favorite game of all time, drumroll please. Super Mario World. Basically, this is the number one game in my heart and in my mind that Super Mario World is the greatest cartridge that I've played in a long time. So thankfully I got that cartridge. So next we have NES games. I do have a physical NES console as mentioned before. This is Super Mario Brothers. This is a puzzle game called Yoshi. This is Yoshi's first appearance on an NES game. Uh, Blade to Steel. Straightforward, it's a hockey game for the NES. 
and also I have Tecmo Bowl for the NES, which is pretty cool. I love this game. All right, so that was that is it for the cartridge-based games. Um, I'll show you my Xbox 360 upstairs, and then we'll conclude the video. All right, so the other console that I have upstairs, and I hope I get another console in this underneath this TV over here. It is from a Samsung TV, and this is an Xbox 360. I have the controller and I have the HDMI into the TV right now, which I'm pretty sure this is a good game to play on the Xbox 360. Good console. Some complain it's Red Ring of Death and all that stuff, but Xbox 360, you can't go wrong with that console. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, also subscribe to my YouTube channel, ring the notification bell, and like the video so you can help me support to my way to get to a thousand subscribers. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.